Welcome everybody to Dark Corners. I'm gonna lose dark, and today we're gonna be playing a terrifying game called Night Stop. Smash like and let's get straight into it. This game has no save feature and is meant to be played in one sitting. Hey man, chill. I'm gonna finish this game on this channel right now. And if I don't, I'm just never gonna post it, so y'all will never find out. Alright, so what's this? Every year, thousands of people go missing along the United States forests and roadways. Some disappearing without a trace neither them or their remains ever being found Ooh, wait a second don't tell me we're gonna be one of those guys that disappear without a trace i don't want to be that guy bro oh well we're 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 definitely that guy I mean, look we're driving um between two cornfields if there's one thing you never want to be doing at night it's drive between cornfields i i missed the subtitle what did it what did it say there's one more thing i have to do wait radio should finally be escaping all this darn corn soon. Something tells me that is not happening. What is that? Is that a bridge? Okay, so I can't turn off the radio. Ooh. I don't like the way this bridge looks at all, y'all. One of these days, this bridge is going to fall out and kill me. Bro, why are you manifesting these things, bro? Manifest something positive. Like, I don't know, uh, a job. <laughs> uh... Or a lot of money. Gas gauge. Wait, I can see how much gas I got. It's getting kind of low. Oh my god, I definitely need a job. Why am I driving through the middle of nowhere with no extra gas in the back? And my fuel gauge is almost all the way down, bro. That's such a bad idea. I better gas up right here. Huh, that's weird. I don't remember there being a gas station here. So, there was, you didn't even know there was a gas station here? And you're still, like, running on low gas, bro. Your survival skills are zero under zero minus they're minus zero which is just zero all right i guess we're gonna gas up let's go ahead this gas pump looks old i guess i'll have to pay inside oh we gotta pay before we use the gas all right 36 smart so this is from the same developer that made that game i played a couple weeks ago called missing hiker you can kind of tell because it kind of has the same vibe i think this game came out before though hello all these horror games got one thing in common. You end up at a gas station or in a convenience store, bro. Let's uh, check that off our bingo list. We got a gas station here. All right, so uh, we just need to gas up. We're not going to get any narballs or any ticks. Do we want salty nuts, maybe? I don't know. Y'all want six chew or like coolant? Oh, I don't think that's for human consumption. Hey, where's the guy? Looks like no one is around. They must be in the back. Hey, man. Must mean gas is free today. Wait, pick up restroom key. Now I just need to find a restroom. Wait, how does this work? They're in the back. I'm just... Am I not going to unlock it with the key? All right, I guess I'm just going to go to the restroom first. And then I'm um, catch y'all on the down low. How do I go to the restroom? Um, Back here? Ugh. Nope, can't go there. It's like an invisible wall. I don't like this at all. We don't know for sure if there's anybody in this gas station. This random gas station that we've never seen before. Also, am I dumb? The restroom's probably in here, isn't it? Why was I looking outside? Rather be fishing. Okay, there's still nobody around. Let's go ahead and unlock this. Um, y'all see, y'all see the demonic stuff on the wall? I feel like that right there is a giant red flag. Okay, well, we're gonna pee, I guess. Bruh. Oh, oh, yeah, how far down? Oh my god, I, I don't even... Okay, I'm not gonna ask any questions. We got a problem here, bro. Uh, like, I'm not sure not sure if anybody's surprised with the power just... Uh, we just lost all power. Oh my... What the flip? What is going on here, bro? There's a... <laughs> There's a tape on the ground. Who, who put this here, bro? Where am I? This is not the gas station anymore. Y'all see this? The door was right here. I've been trapped. Hey, man, if you ever see a gas station that came out of nowhere, don't go in there. Whatever you do, don't do that, bro. Especially if you see, like, a demonic sign on the wall in the restroom. Don't go and pee. Okay, well, I guess we're putting this in here. The only thing we can think of. Wait, what? Oh, no, this is crazy. Wait, we are playing as the person that was recording this. It's June 8, 1985. That is so sick. Yo, this game is so sick. Okay, so we're the person that worked here. It still looks looks normal now. We're just supposed to mob. Oh, my God. They got us working the night shift again. Wait a second. What am I cleaning up here? 
kind of looks suspiciously like blood, bro. Don't tell me we're cleaning up a crime scene here because I'm pretty sure that was not in the job description, bro. I don't want to be cleaning up nobodies. Wait, I can't clean up this one. Why can't I clean it up? Oh, man. I don't like this. Why can I not clean this up? Okay, I guess. Let's just look around and see if there's anything else we can clean up. Oh, wait. Maybe the mop is too dirty. Do we have like a thing we can put the mop in? Oh, see, guys, I'm an adult. I know how this works. See, I, I clean up at home. Although it's been... Don't tell my mom. But it's been months since I last mopped my floor. It's uh getting pretty dirty. But one of these days, I'll get to it, okay? One of these days. One of these days, I'll be a man. And I'm gonna mop my floor. And, um... Hopefully nobody will see the blood. At least, I assume this is blood. I mean, it's red. It could be something else. It could just be, like mud okay, so we're just cleaning up it's 11 20 p.m you know it's the night shift nobody ever comes in here during the night shift so it should be pretty easy all i do is clean up and record myself i'm like the worst uh the the, the world the world's first ever vlogger that's me bro this is the first ever vlog you'll ever see 1985 oh man i keep hearing things y'all but i think i might just be tripping did I clean up everything? Because I don't see anything else. Maybe the restroom? That would make sense. Oh my god. Don't tell me there's doo-doo all over the restroom. Oh, I can't open the door. Well, in that case, uh, what the frick am I supposed to do? See if there's any dirt we missed. Maybe back here? Nope. Back here? Nope. Still locked? Well, we must have missed something. Wait, we can zoom in. <gasps> we can zoom in really far, man. Why would we want to do that? Can't go outside either, so there's got to be something in here that we missed. There's nothing on the ground. Am I tripping, y'all? I feel like it's going to be something super obvious that I missed here. Guys, I literally... I, I, I don't know what I'm... I'm, 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 I'm I supposed to do something else? And I still got the mop in my hands, but there's nothing left to clean. We got salty chips. We got to we we, we do something with the product. I'm so confused, y'all. We can't go outside. We can't eat any of the food out here. We can't open the restroom. What the frick are we supposed to do? Dude, I've been walking around for like 10 minutes now. Uh, am I dumb? I checked this door already. Wait. Wait, I couldn't interact with it before, could I? Or maybe I could, I just didn't do it. Wait, is there other stuff I can interact with that I didn't see? Maybe you can actually open the restroom now. Nope, can't do that. Can we open the front? Nope. So we literally can't do anything except walk around and try to open this door. A uh, door that's locked, by the way. We're probably going to have to go in there at some point. Find out what's in there. Probably not something nice. All right, so I, I still don't know what to do. <gasps> uh, I'm going to be stuck in here forever. I honestly think maybe my game is glitched. So I'm going to start over. You never know. All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, figure out if this time everything will go differently. So we know this restroom door is locked. We got to get the key from over there. So we're going to grab the key. We're going to go in there. We're going to see the tape. We're going to go in the tape. We're going to clean up again. And if nothing happens, then I guess uh, my game really is just broken. All right, this time I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm actually going to pee on the seat. See, maybe maybe that was the problem. <laughs> I was playing it too straight, bro. I I was supposed to not pee in the in the toilet. All right, let's open up. Ooh. Yo, this is a good uh, moment to actually see what's on the wall. It's like a spider. Wait. I can interact with it. The door's gone. I think I could have seen that myself. Right, so we're going to put this in here. This is actually really, really cool. All right, so did we do something wrong here? We were just cleaning up all this mess, right? So we're going to clean up this first, just like that. And then we're going to clean our mop. Wait, I didn't do that before. Okay, so we just clean our map. Let's clean this. Okay, now clean our map. Maybe I just wasn't doing it right. We're gonna go ahead and clean up this. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh my god, that's so much blood. Clean the map again. Good job. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Okay, so this is the final bit of blood or dirt or whatever it is that we gotta clean. Right. What the heck? My game was actually glitched. Why didn't that happen before? No, I think I might have liked it when I cleaned everything and there wasn't any blood anymore. There's like blood on the windows now. Do I clean that up with the mop as well or should I get something else? Ooh, this can be good. Oh, there's the mop. Okay, so remember guys, we don't have to be afraid because this is actually on a tape. This is not happening to us right now. This is on a tape. 
All right, let's go ahead and do it then. Uh, let's clean up this blood right here. Okay, so every time we clean up, we got to clean the mob. I wasn't doing that before. So I'm guessing that's why um, I guess the game didn't really like that. I wasn't doing my job right, y'all. This. I thought I saw some more blood over here, but I could be mistaken. Yep. I think I was. Ugh, this is a whole smear. Somebody's body got dragged over this farted up. up. <laughs> I can't even talk anymore. The that part of the um, you know what's that called the floor oh oh we're cleaning up the window oh I, actually i wanted to clean up the ground but we clean up clean up the window first Ugh. dude the bucket is really red now all right i think this is the only part that's left i don't like this at all guys uh oh huh so this all takes place in one night. We started at around 11 p.m. But if we look at the time now, it's like 12.30 a.m. So it's been like one and a half hour. What exactly is going on? Where did the blood come from? Like, do we know that? How the radios playing games? What's going on here, guys? Oh, that can't be good. That's the same thing we saw on the wall in real life. Okay, well. I guess I'll just do my job then. I'm gonna just keep cleaning. I'm the cleaner. Wait, who moved it? Wait. Oh, dude. So this was here the entire time, but like we couldn't see it because this was in front of it. Ooh. Why is it so dark, bro? Did my boss not pay for the electricity bill? Wait, this, is, this is creepy. Wait, I can't get... Oh, I gotta go in there. What's in there? It's locked. Dude, I can't clean this without going in there. I gotta clean it at the source. is why i hate working the night shift in these gas stations bro like this is not okay this is not regular bro they don't have you doing regular people's stuff at the gas station during the night shift they got you cleaning up blood they got you dealing with demons cults whatever the heck else like look at it there's somebody in the restroom i don't know who and they're bleeding okay now i'm just out here searching for more blood to clean Wait, can i go in here nope that's still locked oh please don't tell me my game glitched again because i'm pretty sure i just cleaned up everything wait do i clean up the wall maybe i'm supposed to clean up the wall let's go ahead and find out oh i am supposed to clean the wall i don't know if that's a good idea bro uh, whoever put this here is probably gonna be real mad but okay oh uh, we do not care oh this is gonna take a while to clean up but it is fading we're doing we're doing a pretty decent job uh-oh uh-oh we opened the door what the frick happened in here oh uh, okay we got the the murder weapon the murder weapon's right here uh, now all we need is the body. And I believe the killer might still be in the building. Did y'all hear that? Uh huh. Hello? Uh huh. Maybe I should, maybe I should just leave, you know? I don't know how much they're paying me, but it ain't enough. Please tell me the door opens. Who's a block in here? Dude, there was a hammer in the restroom, bro. Let's just hammer through the window. <laughs> through the window, please, bro. Why would I investigate this, dude? Let me guess. I'm white. There's like a whole demon in this room. What the heck? I can't see nothing, bro. Let me go into options. Please tell me we can... Oh, we can't even turn up the brightness. We can't turn up the brightness, bro. All right, let me grab my flashlight. Okay, it's not really working. Y'all hear that, right? There's something in here. I'm dead. would i go in there why would i do that uh what is that is that a flashlight am i gonna go in there like the last guy he, he kind of had a reason to go in there because he had a camera bro <laughs> he was doing it for fame and fortune me I, I got no reason to go in here and hey look at this guys all the food and stuff all the items in the store are gone Ooh. all right so this this gas station is definitely a paranormal entity what's that is that a flashlight camcorder oh no Oh, yeah, we're in it for the fame and fortune now, baby. We can zoom in. Ooh. 
What is this place? Got a padlock. We need a key. A key or a code? Oh, frick. Huh? Search continues for five missing women. Oh, this can't be good. What do they look like that, bro? Whoa, whoa, hold on. Their eyes are all messed up and then this door has an eye drawn on it with like blood or something. Okay, it's locked. Oh, I feel like this all got something to do with each other, bro. Dude. Oh, look, there's tools. Maybe I can break open the padlock with one of those tools. All I got to do is go through this dark corridor. Huh? What? Oh, 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 I'm, I'm squeezing myself through here. Oh, my God. We got the triple-A game mechanics in here, bro. What the frick? This game is amazing. This game is terrifying. Yeah, I feel like that door is locked up for a reason, bro. It's boarded up for a good reason. Let's not mess with it. Let's not, let's not, not get all curious and stuff. You know what they say, right? Curiosity killed the cat. Let's let him let's leave him alone. <gasps> oh my god, bro. I'm a big fan. You're is the mob from the movie. Oh my gosh. Ugh. What the freak happened here, bro? Okay, well, we're gonna go for the tools. Ooh. Can I crouch? I can. Okay, man. We're doing it, y'all. We're we're making horrible decisions. Oh, wait, we got to do this because the front door is gone. So we got to find a different way out of here. Oh, my God. There, there's the jump scare. Wait. Am I going back? Wait. I am going. What? what? Huh? I am so disoriented right now, dude. We got to go this way. I'm playing around, but um, on the real note, I'm terrified right now. This is scary. I have no idea where this game. I have no idea where this game is going with all this. Like, I downloaded a random game and it's got all this crazy stuff in it. Like, I don't know where the story is going. There's, like, paranormal stuff. There's, like, the tape. It's really cool, but, like, the unknown is just scary. Bolt cutters. Okay, that's literally what we need. Oh, man. Can't we just cut through the fence? Why do we got to go all the way back here again, bro? Oh, you just know, bro. This is going to go so wrong. My eyes are tearing up. This is not fake. I don't like that. I didn't love I did, I did I did not like that at all. Okay, so there's there's something running around here. Yeah, we gotta get the heck out of here, y'all. There's something running around, and I'm pretty sure it's after us. Okay, there's no sprint button in the game, so Whoever was crying in here, they escaped. Wait, what? Huh? Wait. I think they were a victim. It tore off our limbs. It swallowed our eyes to build its twisted body. Huh? Say what? Multiple dead in gas station fire. Okay, somebody was like roped up in here, bro. I don't think it's the monster, right? But it says... It tore off our, so if if what I'm reading here is like supposed to be taken literal, there's something walking around that's built itself using like limbs and body parts of other people, which would make sense. You know, they were probably cutting up people in here. We had the, the missing women and stuff. Oh, nah, this is making too much sense, bro. And I don't like how it's making sense because that's actually terrifying. So whoever was in that room, they ran away. They knocked this over. So there hopefully we don't run into each other i won't bother them if they won't bother me so hopefully you know we can we can just do that all right so what did i need the bolt cutters for um that room right there is locked but there was a room with a padlock right here i'm guessing we can use the bolt cutters on the padlock 
Oh, yeah, baby. We don't need no code. We don't need no key, bro. Bop. Just like that, man. Okay. It's the freak. Uh. Ma'am? Hey, ma'am. Hey, ma'am. Bro, am I? How big am I, dude? Why do I gotta walk in here like this? Hey, hold on, though. Is it a good idea to go in here, though? Because that person... They don't, they don't look like they really be doing anything, you know? They kind of look dead. So, whoever was, like, running around, this is probably not them. So, they could still lock me in. Oh, I'm not even going to investigate. All right. I guess I'm just looking in the boxes. We got to look through the boxes like this. What are we looking for? A key? What's in the box? What's in the box? Not much. <laughs> uh, yo, the body is peeking at me. What the frick? What the frick? What the frick? What the frick? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Uh, is, is, is that a ghost? That's the last box. Okay, I'm gonna keep my eyes on you, lady. I'm gonna open this box like um like this. Dude, they're gonna start moving. They're gonna start moving as soon as I open this box, dude. 100 percent What why did I go in here yet? Huh? Hey, did you, did you lose? Oh, no, we're out of here. I'm out of here. Get you later, lady. Yeah, I don't know what you got going on, but I don't want no business in it. It's just going crazy in there, bro. All right, peace out. Uh, by the way, your your uh, eyes, they're, um, they're in the box. We've got the key. Oh, we're getting out of here, bro. Getting out of here. Okay, so that was definitely one of the five missing women. So it's only four women now. Wait, am I out? Ah, oh, I thought I was outside. This creepy tunnel. She's not following me, right? Oh no. This is starting to look a little. No wonder this place shut down, bro. What is this? Oh, oh my God, bro. Huh? What? <gasps> huh? 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 What? Don't tell me we're going down there. Uh huh. But I don't see any other options. We can't go up there. Wait, is that the lady that was in the freezer as well? I have no idea. Okay, we're we're jumping. We're jumping and dumping. So we got a hacksaw. That could come in handy later. Maybe we're supposed Maybe we're the killer. We've been the killer this entire time. Huh? Did I die? Hello? Uh hello? Wait, I, I see the interact icon here. Pull? I can pull something. Should I? Uh, oh. Hey. Wait a second. Am I... Am I in the room I was in? I, I, is this the same room I was... Nope. It's not. What the frick is going on? I thought this was supposed to be a gas station. Let's close that door just in case. Flashlight. What the frick is this? <gasps> Hold on, we got new tapes. Well, we got like one, two, three, four, five tapes. We're supposed to watch all of them? Which one are we gonna start with? This one? Don't tell me we can watch every single tape, dude. Wait, wait, we can see what's in the tape. So this is, I don't know what this is. Check that one. 
put in a different one. Okay. I'm confused. Okay, so we got this tape right here. Wait, I can't... Oh, wait, we can insert multiple tapes and multiple TVs. Uh-huh. Oh, it's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. It's like uh, we're supposed to put them in the right TV and it'll actually make like something. Oh, yeah, let's see what's in all the tapes then. Oh, this tape has a handprint on it. Okay, so I think this one definitely goes... I think this one goes in the middle. Like this. And then... This one probably goes in on the top somewhere. Alright. It's it's looking it's looking decent. Wait, something here ain't right though. Something here ain't right. Hold on, there's still one tape we haven't seen. Let's see what's on this tape. Maybe then everything will make sense. Oh yeah, okay, so that one definitely goes in the bottom. That makes sense. And then I feel like these two need to be switched out. This one goes here. Yup, and then this one goes here. Yup. Think that worked? What are we even looking at right now? It's like, oh, 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 okay. I, I don't think that movie got very good reviews. So what are we even looking at here? Okay, I had no idea this was what this game would be about. I thought this game would just be about me, like, running out of gas and then dying to some serial killer. But there's, like, all kinds of paranormal stuff going on. Okay, so, uh, that looked like a heap. Oh, it's a butterfly. Mm, that looked like a, a heap of bodies. Okay, so the TV's broke. Does that mean that this door's not open? <gasps> We're back in the store. We're back in a store. The gas station was not this big, bro. Can we sprint? Can we sprint, please? There's something in here with me, y'all. Uh-oh. Is it behind me? <gasps> it's the scariest thing of all time. The dark. Uh, not, not talking about me. I'm talking about the literal dark where all the lights behind me are closing. Oh my god. Why am I walking at such a literally pace, bro? Like... Start jogging at least. Like, speed walking. Don't even jog. Just walk slightly faster than you already are, bro. Dude, y'all hear that? Is there something chasing me? Or are those just my footsteps? Come on, we're so close. We're so close. Please. There's 100% something in there. Like, I almost want to just stand still and see what it is, but... Dude, worst prank of 2024, bro. Why would you do that to me, bro? That was such a Looney Tunes prank. Why would you hit me with that Looney Tunes prank? Hello? <gasps> huh? Stop playing these games with me, dude. I just want to get back home. Okay, sure. Let's go in the basement. Let's go, let's go down here, bro. It's not like I got anything better to do. Let's go inside of the basement, dude. I, I love basements. Love how they're under the ground and they hold all these secrets and you can dump your bodies in there and it'll take like a few weeks before they start smelling. I love it. Okay, I wasn't I I did uh the bodies joke, it wasn't supposed to be taken literally. Hold on. That's the lady's head. That's what it said on the door. It said something has been taking like body parts. Ugh. So this thing is probably alive. What was that? Do I have a crowbar? Oh, I have the hacksaw. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, we're putting you back. Huh? Wait, what? I thought we were cutting her up again. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure we're supposed to see this. Huh? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna look away from this. I don't want to get hit with that demonetization, if you know what I mean. Hey, where's your head? Man, mom always said you lose your head if it wasn't attached to your neck. It's Inception. Somebody was watching our tape. <gasps> Somebody really was. Oh, huh, what is this? This is the security camera. What the freak just happened, dude? 
I have no idea what we just went through, but it was amazing. I, I what, honestly, guys, I downloaded this game. It had a gas station in it. I was like, you know, those gas station games, they always hit. But this was something I didn't ex ex expect at all. It was actually a lot of fun. So shout out to whoever made this game. I'm going to leave it down below in the description. And if y'all want to see more videos like this, smash that like like. Leave a comment, subscribe, and check out these other vids. December 11th, 1994. My brother Ethan is missing for around 24 hours. He went on a hiking trip near the Red Mountain. He should have come home yesterday. I went to the local police. They said they don't have the resources for a search right now. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. Oh, okay, so our brother went missing out somewhere in nature. Oh my god, it's freezing, it's snowing. If we don't find him and he's actually stuck somewhere in the wilderness, he's gonna freeze to death. But hey, there's something strange here. We have a car. So, does that mean we're not gonna hitchhike? Or is our brother the mi missing hiker? This is pretty cool, I'm actually driving myself. Yo, smash like if I, if, if I should crash the car. Why did you smash like? Why do you want me to get in a car accident? Man, that was a trick question. Let's just focus on the road for now. I'm gonna drive on the opposite side because I'm cool like that. I'm British. It doesn't look like it's been snowing for too long. So if we find them quickly enough, I think our brother might be able to survive. He might have frostbite. He might have to get a few toes amputated, but it's fine as long as it's not the big toe and the pinky toe. Uh, he should still be able to balance on his feet. Oh, I see a gas station back there. I'm probably gonna stop and see, um, ask them if they see my bro. Yoinks! <laughs> I'm just playing, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. I wasn't gonna do that. What is it with all these creepy horror games and having gas stations, convenience stores, driving sections? I should park at this gas station to see if they saw my brother. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh man, these graphics look, I don't know, they look really interesting. It kind of reminds me of Fierce the Phantom, but that's probably because it starts in a car. But the graphics, like Fierce the Phantom has like the VHS aesthetic. This has more of a, I don't know, film aesthetic. Like there's the grain and everything, and it still looks realistic. It has the grammatic ever. Never mind. Hold on. What kind of car do I drive? Oh. Oh my God. In the 90s? I'm driving this in the 90s. I'm rich. Who, am I Jeff Bezos or something? Did I just start up Amazon? Ooh, this looks so realistic. Ugh, it's kind of creepy. I don't know. These graphics, they look cool. Okay, so I'm supposed to ask everybody if they see my brother. What can I do for you, sir? I'm searching for my brother. He was hiking around this area. So that's how my bro went missing. He was hiking. He should have come home yesterday. Have you seen him? So this is 1993 guys there are no smartphones there isn't really internet connection so the only way for me and my bro to contact each other is if he has cell phone reception he probably doesn't have a cell phone he probably has well nothing uh, bro i don't know i wasn't born then okay i'm old but not that old i just know it wasn't as easy to communicate back then how does your brother look like he has brown hair and is pretty tall he also has a green backpack let me think for a second Hmm, yes, I think I saw your brother. He came in here and bought a few things. Some water and a few snacks. You're trying to find him? Have you told the police already? Yeah, I did. But they said they don't have the resources for a search right now. So I got to do this all on my own. What am I paying taxes for, bro? They said they only start a search if a person is missing for more than 48 hours. That's a myth. That's not true, by the way, guys. If you think somebody's missing, go straight to the cops. Unless you think the cops got something to do with it. It isn't the first time someone went missing in this area. At least a handful of people went missing there in the last decade. People talk a lot. I've heard rumors that there are strange screams and weird noises coming from the woods. Oh no, it's not that kind of forest, is it? So you should be careful, especially going there at this time of night. There's a road right behind the gas station leading to the mountain. Make sure to stay on it. There could be dangerous wildlife in that area. Bro just said they're screaming and people going missing. And he still works here? Thanks. I'll make sure to stay safe. So, uh, next question. Do y'all sell weapons? I guess they don't. Wait, can I go back here? I can't. There was somebody else in the store. Hey there, buddy. Oh, what? Why does he look like Harry Potter? What do you want? I'm searching for my brother. 
you were missing while hiking. Sorry to offend you, pal, but that's not my problem. That was, I was trying to do a British accent. It didn't really work. Let's try that again. Also, you shouldn't just randomly appear, approach people like this. Especially in this area. What do you mean? I work pretty late. I just want to grab some snacks and beers and drive home. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm not in the mood to talk with people I don't know. I understand. My bad, bro. So he was also talking about this area being creepy. There's not much else I can do in the store. I could buy some beans. I don't think I'm supposed to. The cashier told me about a road behind the gas station. Am I supposed to take my car there? I think so. Whoa, I have a flashlight. I came prepared. Wait, what road is he talking about? Huh? <gasps> Oh, that one? Can't I just, you know, stay on the main road? How do I know the, the cashier doesn't have something to do with my brother going missing? Wait, now that I have a flashlight, I can see what kind of car this is. Jeez, bro. What the frick? How am I affording this? Okay, it doesn't matter. How do I how do I get in the car? No. You're... You're... Hold... Nah, no, man. No, come on. You're not telling me I'm supposed to go on foot, are you? Dude, I could totally go there by car my car fits on this road bro i don't know guys maybe it's because my car isn't, isn't an off-roader okay well we're staying on the pad i guess we, oh my god if we turn off the flashlight all we can see is the snow why would my brother go hiking here it's not even a nice hiking place i mean there's a gas station so he went from the gas station straight into this forest why would you do that go to like a national park or something where you got park rangers and there's other people but yeah, I, I, I get why I'm in a rush, though. Why I'm not going to wait until the morning. Because if I don't find my brother tonight, and there's actually something wrong, he's going to freeze to death. But on a positive note, his body is going to be super well preserved. So we can have an open casket. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Is that a tent? Could that be my brother's tent? My brother's tent looks entirely different. I should still take a closer look. So I can recognize the tent. Ah! Whoa, who the frick are you? You scared the crap out of me. I scared you, bro. I almost had a heart attack myself, but I mean, he has a point though. He's camping out here in the forest and I'm walking up to his tent. So he has more of a right to be scared than me. What do you want? I hope you're not some kind of pervert or creep. Or if I was, you wouldn't have to worry, okay? You see that hair you got? I'm not, I'm searching for my brother. He was hiking in his area. Have you seen him? Nope, I haven't seen him. Wait. You don't even know how he looks like. Good point. Look, man. I'm just some guy that likes to hike in the woods and sleep in a tent in freezing conditions. And he's wearing a shirt. Something here is fishy. I haven't seen anyone in days. I understand. You're planning to go deeper into the forest? Yes, I'll search around the area. I hope I can find my brother or at least traces of him. Look, you'll probably think I'm a stoner or something. What? You don't look like you're made out of stone. But last night I had my tent a bit up north. And I heard weird noises coming from the woods. It sounded like a child was crying. But I didn't see anything. It creeped me out. Maybe it was a cryptid. A what? Look man, do you carry? What do you mean? I'm talking about a piece, you know. Something for protection. The only protection I need is right here. Oh man, maybe I do need a piece. You mean a gun? No, I don't. Then you shouldn't be here in the first place. See, I said that. I said that I needed a piece when I was back at the gas station. It's way dangerous to go deeper into the forest at night. So you know this. And yet you're still out here camping. I don't understand. But I'm not going to stop you. I just want to sleep now. Also, one last thing. Don't creep up a tent in the woods at night ever again. I almost would have shot you. Well, I guess I'm glad you didn't. Me too. Good luck with the search. Okay, this is kind of fishy. He's not dressed to go camping. He got on dress shoes, dress pants, a dress shirt, no gloves, no backpack, nothing. <laughs> and he looks funny. All right. Thanks. Um, thanks for the help, I guess. I guess we're still going to go up on the... Wait, where's the trail? I can't find the trail anymore. I don't think I should go this way. What? Am I lost already? My, don't don't worry about me, bro. I'm just a little lost. Oh, there it is. There's the trail right there. You can go back in your tent now, you know. So he said we shouldn't go deeper into the forest at night unless we're carrying a weapon. Guess what? I am not carrying a weapon. He was also talking about cryptids. So he thinks there's like cryptids inside of this forest. And once again, he's still camping here. 
Okay, he was talking about uh, hearing a small child screaming. So if we hear a small child screaming, I don't know. We'll try to run away. Man, I don't like this at all. Not one bit. How well prepared are we? Do we have like camping gear ourselves? We don't have a weapon. We know that. So if we do see something, all we can do is run and hide. But hey, at least we were smart enough to bring a flashlight with us. Dude, it's still snowing so hard. I hope I have a good relationship with my brother. Because if I don't, honestly, bro, what's the point of this? You know what I honestly thought when I saw that tent? I thought maybe that guy actually kidnapped my brother and uh, took his tent. Wait, I just realized something. I'm an idiot. The game is called Missing Hiker. Getting really cold. I should set up my tent on the left side of the road. So I'm going to sleep here anyways. If I'm going to be sleeping, I could have just slept in the motel and just search for my brother later. But I guess I'm going to sleep right here. But yeah, the game's called Missing Hiker. For some reason, I assumed hiker meant hitchhiker, but it's just a hiking story. So where am I going to be setting up my tent? Right here? My fingers are pretty numb. It's hard to build the tent. <laughs> I brought gloves with me in, at least, right? Ooh, that's a fancy tent I got. Go ahead and enter it. I, mean, I could have just slept in my car. I barely made it into the woods. It's cold, but I'm falling asleep slowly. Ooh. Why couldn't I have set up the tent next to the other guy's tent? We could have been friends. Maybe if we, we became good friends at night, telling campfire stories, he would have felt like he had to help me. I think I heard someone scream. I'm not sure if that was real or imagined. I didn't hear that. I need to check. It could be my brother screaming for help. I did not hear nobody scream, bro. Stay inside your tent. So, okay, no, I definitely heard that. There's a light deeper in the woods. It could be my brother. Why would somebody be screaming right now, bro? What is that back there? Is that another tent? Okay, let's try to remember where our tent is. Do we have a compass or anything? Please. I think they had compasses in 1993. I see something over there. It looks like a tent. Might be a rock. This time, I definitely heard somebody screaming, though. Man, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. We should have just waited for the police, honestly. I mean, what's the point? We're gonna sleep. We're gonna wait until the morning to search for our brother. We could have just waited somewhere where it was warm and cozy. You know, preferably next to a weapon store so we can buy a weapon as well. Wait, that's not a tent. It almost looks like a building. Is that like a park ranger building? Oh. Did I not put new batteries in this flashlight? I hope I did. Hello? It's it. Some kind of shed. What's this? Oh, my brother's backpack. He must have been here. Weird. The backpack's completely empty. Nothing in here. Okay. So what was he carrying? Hello? What is this building? I, I, I don't know if this is a park ranger building. Kind of looks like it. I can't look through any of the windows. Wait, I can. There's a TV. I think this might be a house, y'all. There's trash. So somebody's been living here. Why would my brother be screaming if he made it inside of a house? I don't see anything. But the door's unlocked. Oh, no. Hello? Big bro? I heard you screaming. Pictures. What's this? Someone made a picture of my tent and my car. Why 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 would you do that? I mean, I get why you would want to take a picture of the car. It's a nice car. But of my tent? I'm being stalked. Is this what happened to my brother? Oh my god. I think I know what happened. I think my brother is a burger now. Okay, we know what happened. Uh, rest in peace, my big bro. But uh, I don't want to end the same way as you. Do I just leave through the front door again? Ooh. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. <laughs> Your body was never found? Are you serious? I got killed by a guy with a mustache? Man, I'm going to keep it real. That's kind of exactly how I expected it to go. <laughs> I was not going to survive that. You know how many bad decisions I made? Going to the forest at night and not bringing a weapon with me? 
sleeping in the forest at night. Uh, having a brother that likes to hitchhike at night in a forest. Uh, caring about my brother. <laughs> a lot of mistakes. I'm, I'm playing about the last one. You still always care about your friends and family. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash like if you did and never go hitchhiking or hiking at night. Today, we're going to find out what happens when you go on a 12 hour long road trip at night. We're playing as a girl that just came from a gaming convention. But for some reason, traffic was really bad. So I decided to take a different route home. As you can see, I might come to regret my choices. This road looks creepy. It's the middle of the night, but I should be good. I'm in a car. If something creepy happens, I can just speed off, right? Ooh, wait, I'm getting messages. Don't don't text and drive, kids. So what you do when you get a text message on a creepy road like this? You stop and then you hold your phone. So who are these people? I got a bunch of messages. Oh, I got a message from dad. What does dad want? You called? Yeah, I think I'm going to that convention. Could I get your car for like five days, please? With who? Aiden. That internet friend? He's a nice guy. No. You're not going on a 10 hour drive by yourself. Well, I've already made up my mind. I'll drive you. Why don't you understand anything? Let's talk when I get home. Oh, and then he says drive safe, Holly. I have such a sweet dad. Don't forget to call me. You, whoa. Why is there a creepy white van on this empty road? That's kind of sus. I wonder if I can turn around. Can I turn around, go back? Oh, this car doesn't really have a good turning radius so i'm not even gonna try i'm crashing i'm crashing ah! Whew. that was a close call i can't wreck dad's car he'll never let me borrow it again okay this car's kind of slow though i wasn't even done reading all the messages i got a brand new message right that's the person i went to the convention with let's turn that off <laughs> i told aiden i'm stuck in the biggest traffic jam of the country that's it i'm rerouting here so that's what happened the traffic was really bad so I went down this back road. It doesn't look too bad. It's kind of abandoned. Nobody else is here, which is good because that means no creeps can kidnap me. I'm like a 19 year old girl all by herself. That's a recipe for disaster. A speed limit. How fast am I driving right now? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, dad. Hey, screw it. I'm texting and I'm driving. Where did you reach? Still about six hours away from the city. Got stuck in a jam. Yeah. I still got a six hour drive ahead of me. That's bad. Oh, ain't no way. I'm low on gas. I gotta fill up the gas, but I don't know if there's a gas station anywhere nearby. This is bad. This is really bad because this means I'm gonna have to get out of the car and I don't wanna get out of the car. I feel safe in the car. It's my safe space. Nobody can touch me while I'm in here. How much gas do I have left? It's a six hour drive. There's no way I have enough gas for a six hour drive. I really hope there's a safe gas station somewhere nearby. What do you want from me, dad? I'm fighting for my life here. Stop texting me, dude. I'm, 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 I'm dying. I'm crying. I'm gonna cry. I'm so scared. Come on, please. Just... What the? Did y'all see that? Is this a gas station? It looks like a gas station. Um, there's another car here. But did y'all see that? It was some dude walking into the woods. Why would you do that? Okay, I'm gonna stop the car right here. Space to get out. I can't believe I'm doing this right now. Okay, hey, is anybody there? Anyone? Hello? I saw somebody walking in there. Norwood gas station. Automotive fuel. That's literally exactly what I need right now. I need automotive fuel. All right, this person seems nice. Is this a customer? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just starting a random conversation. How's your night going? He just looked at me. He's a creep. Oh, nah. I think he just has social anxiety. You know, a young girl talks to him and he just... Dances up and freezes up. And then he poops his pants. Oh, he's coming back. All right, buddy. Wow, what you... <laughs> what you do walk around all that cake? All right, I just need to fill up my car and then I'm getting out of here. Ma'am. Hi, and I got $10 on pump too. You heading through the bridge by yourself? Bridge? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. This guy warning me? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. And people who went looking for him never returned. Who the heck is honking his car? Locusts say the Norwood Valley Monster had torn them up and hung them upside down in trees. Yeah, that story was so creepy, I think I just peed my pants. Can I use your toilet real quick? It's not clean. What the heck is going on out there? Who's honking? And one more thing. 
If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. What are you talking about, bro? Just step on gas as hard as you can. Who? What? Who? Who? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstance, pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. Bro, I wasn't even planning on picking anybody up. As a what the heck? What the... Bro, what? Y'all saw that? That dude came from my car. What was he doing there? And he was in a white van? Tell me that ain't the same white van that passed me at the start of the video. That is very sus. I, I guess I can just read my text messages now, right? Even my mom is texting me now. What the heck? I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get something for Milo? I'll pay you back. Oh, we gotta get dog food? Oh, my bad. They got hot dogs. Hot dog food? <laughs> if I was dog food, where would I be? Wait, I can buy... Dude, I can buy things? What the heck? I can throw... Oh! Don't get mad, don't get mad! Yo, we actually do have dog food! For good boys and girls, pet pet. Yo, can I buy this? That'll be five dollars, ma'am. Alright, bro, thank you. Appreciate it, my mom will be happy. Hey, where did the... Oh, he's right there. Is he not shopping? Can I say something to him? Yo, I can ask him about the stuff the cash records that dude told me about. You heard about the Norwood Valley Monster? Huh? The Norwood Valley Monster, you know anything? Big mistake. What? Bro is off his meds. Alright, let's get out of here. These people are giving me the creeps. Get in the car with the dog food. And let's go straight home. Wait, I still have to pump the gas. I got uh, pump number two. That pump right there. So I actually have to move the car. Hopefully. Oh, I could just put that in my trunk. Oh, man. I got all kinds of stuff in my trunk. So how exactly? Do I just throw it in there? I'm not sure if that worked. Pump number two. So how exactly does this work? I'll grab this thing. I filled the tank and was off on the road again. That wasn't bad. I got a full tank of gas, so I can actually get back home. This is good. Let's go. Let's get the heck out of here. So, whoa, there's more cars. What the heck were those people in the gas station talking about? The Norwood Valley monster? There's no such thing as monsters. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist. And every single one of them looks just like you and me. I look like a monster? Speaking of my mom, she just sent me a message and why did my headlights just go out? Turn them back on. What the? Did I turn them off? Oh, no, they they didn't turn off. It's just because I was going uphill. Okay, my bad. I didn't know that's how lights worked. Am I going to read my mom's text message? It's kind of dangerous to do that right now. What's going on with my headlights? They were working fine just five minutes ago. Bro, this is not good. There's a car in front of me. I can use use them. Just follow them. They're like a beaming light. Don't get too close, though. Oh, what? My headlights just stopped working. This car in front of me is so slow. Oh, whoa. Forget about that. It's not slow. Oh, wait. Please. You're my only light in here. Oh, now it's pitch black. I feel kind of scared driving like this. I can't see anything in front of me. Am I going to keep going? Okay. I can just guess where the road is. Whoa. Okay. My headlights work again. Whew. That was terrifying. So what's the deal with that car that was in front of me? Why did they suddenly start speeding? Maybe they were scared because there was a car with no headlights driving really close behind them. Almost looking like they were following them. Looked that way because I actually was following them. But then again, the road only goes this way. So it's kind of hard not to go the same way as them. All right, this is a straight road. I think I could probably read my text messages. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Is this the bridge? The guy at the gas station was talking about? He said there's a Norwood Valley monster on this bridge. So I better speed as a maniac. Come on. Faster. 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 Oh my god. It's a big bridge. Oh, no, not again. What the heck happened to my headlights, dude? This is not normal. Okay, we made it over the bridge. We're safe. See, that wasn't too bad. But we're no longer on a hardened road. We're on a dirt road. Why did we take this? We should have just stayed in the traffic jam, bro. That would have been way better than this. 
My headlights just keep going out and they keep coming back on. So I just gotta get used to that. Luckily we're not on... Bro, what the heck? I swear I keep seeing things in the grass. I think I might be going crazy. <gasps> A car? Why was that car right there? Whoa, 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 bunny. Do you... What the heck? I'm hearing things, bro. Tell me y'all heard that too. It was like something in my ear. But it came from outside the car. Huh? Did y'all see that? I could take a left there. There's this very weird thing about that night. Oh no. I saw two big logs in the middle of the road blocking the way ahead. Are you serious? It almost seemed as if someone had deliberately put those there. But I didn't think much of it at the time. They were heavy. Wait, but I can move them. I can actually move them. That's good. Okay, I just moved that one out of the way. And now I'm moving this one out of the way. Good job. Okay, now we can keep going. I didn't think I would be able to actually grab and move those things, but I probably work out. Why is my car not working? The car wouldn't start back up. You've got to be kidding me. No. And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. I felt so safe in the car. I'm not saying that I started to believe whatever the pool crap that gas station clerk pulled. But I would be lying if I said I didn't feel the slightest of unease. Of course you're feeling unease. You're literally stuck in the middle of nowhere. And somebody messed with your car. Throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. Don't tell me we're going to do what I think we're going to do. But at that moment, I had no choice. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Am I actually going... My car is smoking, but am I actually going to stay here and hitchhike? 10.23 p.m. How long have I been standing on the side of the road now? Oh my god, it got even darker than before. I saw a car nearing. Where? Oh, right there. Stop! Stop! Don't hit me! Well... Pure evil. They didn't even they didn't even bother to stop. As a matter of fact, it looked like they were trying to hit me. I didn't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. Uh maybe they think you're a serial killer? You're literally on the side of the road in the middle of the night. Why would they pick you up? 10:43 p.m. So it's like 20 minutes later. Maybe now a car will actually stop for me. I can't believe it's even darker. Should I should I just go on on foot? I mean I could, right? There was like a side road I saw earlier. I don't know if you could actually go in there. <gasps> Wait, there's a car coming. Hey, my thumb is out. Hey, are you not going to stop either? Wait a second. They stopped. Are they stopping for me? Hey, uh, you couldn't have stopped anywhere closer. So I'm going to leave my dad's car right here. I don't have cell service, so I can't even call him or anything. Okay, um... Sir? How how nice of you to stop for me. I like your pickup truck. Not creepy or anything. Wait a second. I recognize that face. You're the girl from the gas station. Hi. What are you trying to do out here? Uh, I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? He's not saying anything. Where are you heading, though? Uh, just the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. I don't know if I should be getting in the back of his truck, y'all. Or like next to him. He wasn't very nice to me at the gas station. Remember what he said when I asked him about the Norwood uh, monster? He went like, big mistake. That's literally what he said. That's kind of sus. It's kind of creepy. What kind of grown man talks like that, right? And did you see those glasses? Those are like psycho glasses 101. People with those glasses. I'm sorry if you have those glasses, but... They're the staple of a good serial killer. I'm not saying you're a serial killer if you own those glasses. I'm just saying good serial killers like those glasses. That's all I'm saying. Okay, don't take any offense. I'm just here panicking. I'm throwing all my stuff in the back of this random guy's truck. I don't have any cell service, so nobody knows I got into this guy's truck. Nobody knows where I am. Nobody even knows that my car broke down. You know how lazy you gotta be to not feel like sitting in traffic? All you do is sit. 
You don't even have to move. You can listen to music. Instead of that, I'm here in the middle of the night at a random back road getting into the car of a random stranger that's wearing serial killer glasses. Oh, and to make matters even worse, I don't know if my dad is ever going to get his car back. This car will not survive here. As soon as the sun goes up, somebody's going to steal it. They're going to fix it and take it. There we go. We got everything. So, uh, is he going to close? Finally. Now hop in. Be quick. Ooh. After I get into this car, it's the point of no return. I'm actually hitchhiking. After the gas station clerk literally warned me not to hitchhike. Oh, <sighs> we're going. We're moving. Uh, I hope I survive this. He's going to take me to a place where I can call for help. I'm going to call a tow truck. So you won't tell me who you are, where you're going. Um, I was driving home. So people are expecting me. So if I don't show up, they're going to get suspicious. I'm just saying. And that piece of crap broke down on me. Jason. What? My name's Jason. So his name is Jason. There's never been a serial killer with the name Jason, right? You're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say, you are one brave young woman. How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? Wait, does he know what happened to my car? I think it was the battery, right? That was very suspicious. What does he mean? Do I know what happened to my car? Just broke down, right? There was nothing suspicious about that except for the fact I saw somebody coming from my car at the gas station. What do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? Uh, he really creeped me out, if I can be real honest with you. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. Hold on, bro. Five minutes ago, you literally said it's not safe to leave the car. So, is it true? What? The monster? Let's see. I've never seen the monster for myself. But there are... There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen. I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. You don't bother who? Who are you talking about? Bro, don't, don't, don't scare me like that. Who could he be talking about? You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. I am confused. I'm not sure if we're supposed to be creeped out by this guy or if he's actually helping us. It could be either things. He could be a creep that's about to murder us or he could be somebody who knows stuff goes down. He's just very defensive of himself and protective of the people around him. I really don't know. I'm, I'm kind of starting to almost trust him. I mean, he did help me out. And so far, I'm still alive. Let's hope it stays that way. 12, 8 a.m. Wow, that was a long drive. We drove for like an hour. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently, they offered road assi yeah, roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. I like that idea. We're gonna actually sleep at a motel and we're not gonna do anything until the sun is out. Don't do any stuff at night, guys. Be careful. There are all kinds of people out there. He said ominously before leaving. Okay, so he warned us. That's him and this is the motel. Um. I guess we gotta, we gotta get a room, right? And ask them for the roadside assistance. Hey there, how are you doing? The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. Hey, just because his hairline sucks, doesn't mean he's a creep. I'm sick, okay? Just because his hairline ain't the best, don't mean his personality ain't. <sighs> I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm sorry. Gal, yeah, need a room to check out for the night? How much is it for a room? $40 for a single. Pay cash only. I guess I'm rich or something. I just got $40 laying around. Room number nine, right over there. Oh yeah, but um, I should probably ask him about the roadside assistance. $90. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Dang! Okay, well, here you go. $90. I got that laying around, too. Hopefully, you're not a scammer. Good. I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. Okay? Creepy? So, I got the key to room number nine. Let's close that. Should I get all my stuff, or is he gonna take the stuff to the room for me. Uh, room number nine. Where is it? Oh, man. These roadside motels kind of creep me out. I've never seen one in real life, but I've seen a lot in like horror movies. <gasps> oh, oh my God. I got re re reception. Oh my God. I missed so many messages. 
Oh, my mom is worried sick. Where did you reach? Why are you not picking up the call? What do you mean reroute? Dad, I may have to stay by a motel tonight. It's not delivered. Even Aiden is messaging me. Hey, where are you at? Your dad's calling me. Oh, they've, they've got to be very worried. The last message they got from me is me telling them I'm going to reroute. I'm going to take a different route home. And they haven't heard from me since. Okay, so I can't just go into any room. It's got to be room number nine. I have no idea who else could be staying in this motel. Hopefully, they're all nice, normal people that take their meds whenever they have to. It was nice and warm inside. Yeah, I actually kind of like this room, except for the paintings. Can I turn this painting around? Except there was a smell, a type of musky smell and an old TV. Dude, I could just sit here and watch TV all night. Oh, that's copyrighted. We're not watching that. <laughs> Why is there a human sized closet in this motel room? <gasps> I'm going to have to hide in here, aren't I? Let's leave it open. Hey, there's no mattress here. Do I have to call the room service for a mattress? Hello? Anybody going to pick up? This place sucks. They didn't even give me a mattress. Are you serious? Okay, I guess I'm going to have to go back. Get myself a mattress. Or I should get my stuff. This is the tow truck. I'm guessing this is Michael or whatever his name was. Uh, his tow, tow truck to go and pick up my car. Hey, buddy. Y'all forgot to put the mattress in my room. What's that about? You have a great night's sleep. I don't have a mattress. What am I supposed to do? Hey, what does it say right here on the window? Not approved for occupancy. Wait, what? Somebody tried to rip this up, but this piece of paper right here said that this motel is not approved for people to actually stay in. But I'm staying in this motel. I'll just go back to my room and figure something out. I don't have to sleep. I just want to stay here for a couple of hours until the sun goes up so I can go and get my car. We'll manage. All we got to do is just stay in here like this. Maybe we can take a shower. Ah! What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck was that? <sighs> Anyways... Oh, what the heck? He's still there. I thought he was gone. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I should be asking you. I'm Tommy. Room service here at the roadway in to find a stopover in Norwood. What the heck were you doing in there, Tommy? You know, cleaning stuff. Guy at the front desk gave me this room. So you're not supposed to be here, you creep. <laughs> what does that mean? I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. Okay. Tommy, I'll just go out and get my stuff. I got so scared. I, I, I don't know why I thought he disappeared. I thought it was a ghost. I thought I would go into the bathroom and he wouldn't be there anymore. But he was. Okay, at least we know he's a normal guy. He's just fixing my room, cleaning it up. Maybe I'll actually have a mattress when I get back. Bro, do you know uh, your buddy Tommy is in the bathroom scaring your guests? Your stuff is right outside. Okay, well, I guess you know about it. Do I have to pick up all this stuff? Oh, I can pick two things at the same time and i can buy a soda consuming these items increases your sprint speed why would i need that i think i'm gonna go for an orange drink processing i'm gonna drink this it's like a chug juice <laughs> and then i can sprint faster doesn't work that way in real life drink water i think i did get kind of faster did i already drink it because i did not pick it up myself all right let's go ahead throw all my stuff in here wait he did give me a mattress thanks tommy Wish we could have met in better circumstances. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What's wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry. It's safe here. I'll go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed. We haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> but you have a good night. Okay, Tommy. Thanks. You see, he gave me a mattress. That's cool. But uh, I still didn't get all my stuff. Hey, don't mind me, Tommy. I'm just getting all my stuff. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Man, even got the dog food. Go back to my room. Throw this in there. Get the dog food. Get. Oh, he actually went to get my car. I hope that's where he went. But wait, if he's going to get my car and fix it, I might be able to leave before the sun goes up. That would be really great because this place is giving me the creeps. I don't like it at all. The neighbors probably already heard me scream because Tommy was sitting in my bathroom. My skateboard the dog food that's all we need throw my stuff in here on the ground bop close that door and now we can actually go to sleep let me just check if there's any cameras in the bathroom nope i think we should be good actually i'm not sure if we're good i'll just not take a bath while i'm here <laughs> good night y'all oh should i not close the blinds 
the heck? <gasps> Call it the foresight. But there was something very off about that place. The fact that somebody was literally watching me sleep. I couldn't help shake the feeling that something wasn't right. The feeling tiredness was overcoming by anxiety. I'm getting up. I am not going to sleep. What was I thinking? Leaving the blinds open. At least I don't see anybody out there. I'm going to stay in here, right? Didn't want to sleep anymore. Only coffee could help me stay up. There's a problem though. I don't think I have a coffee machine. So please don't tell me. I'm actually planning on going out there to get coffee. Because why would I do that? Why would I leave the safety of my room to get coffee? The only place I could get coffee is all the way back there. And it's very dark out here. I don't see any other option. She wants to get coffee. She's going to get coffee. She wanted to go to a convention and borrow her dad's car. Her dad said no. She still went. She didn't want to stay in traffic. She went and took a detour. Now we're here. Is there anybody out there? Okay, I'm going to leave the door open so I could run straight back inside. <laughs> Run, 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 run. There's the coffee machine right here, right? Nope, there's only water and soda. There's got to be another machine somewhere. So we got the water machine. We got the soda machine. Uh, I think there's a machine over there. See, these people close their blinds, unlike me. They're not going to get bothered by anybody creeping, in, creeping on. And, uh, cre cre I think this is a coffee machine, so it should be good. Premium coffee, hot huh? drinks. Yes, give me an espresso. Wait, it's free? Let me get the most expensive thing y'all have then. The cappuccino with marshmallows? Don't mind if I do. Consuming these items helps you stay awake. You guys hear that? Somebody's watching TV in there. What the heck? What just happened? Huh? Dude, why am I going crazy? Bro! I'm tripping. What did they put in my cappuccino? I thought it was decaf. I gotta get back to my room. I think my drink's been spiked. Back to my room. Where's my room? Room number nine. What the heck? Oh, wait, my dad's texting me. Dad, I need help. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh, I'm so happy I left my door open. Go, 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 go. This is not the kind of trip I wanted to go on when I went on a road trip. What the heck? What do I do? Do I have to throw up? I can throw this up, right? Just throw up or something. Ugh. This is bad, guys. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. I'm just having a bad trip. I can sleep it off. Sleep fixes everything. Except nightmares, because then you have to wake up. Oh, no. It's 3 a.m. That's even worse. I was sedated. With the coffee? Is that the phone I'm hearing? I'm pretty sure they said the phone wasn't working. Who could this be? Could this be the room service? Hello? What was that about? I feel creeped out, y'all. It's even darker outside. I'm gonna stay in here, right? The last time I went outside, my drink got spiked. Nobody's home. Yo, there's somebody at the door. Who is that? They won't leave. I told you nobody's home. This room is vacant. As a matter of fact, there's a ghost in this room. It's haunted. They're not running it out anymore because it's cursed. You go in here, you'll curse yourself and your entire family and every generation that goes in front of you. You won't give up? Who is it? Joe from the front desk. Open the door. I don't want to open the door. He won't stop knocking though. I mean, it's Joe, right? You guys know who Joe is. Joe Mama. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously though, it's just Joe. I'm sure I can handle Joe. Hey Joe, what can I help you with? Didn't I specifically tell you to not wake anyone up? You woke me up your big lips i have complaints what are you making all those goofy noises for whatever it is just keep it down miss was i making goofy noises in my sleep <laughs> whatever it is just keep it down miss why are your eyes all red i'm glad you asked my drink got spiked are you messing with me we don't have no coffee machine here 
Yes, you do. It's like right there behind you. Okay, okay, here. I've had enough of you crazy goons. For once, I thought we had a sober guest. But I guess I'm the crazy one here. He doesn't believe me? Okay, follow me. If you guys don't have a coffee machine, then explain to me what that thing right there on that side of the building is behind this red car. You're gonna have to do a lot of explaining because there's a coffee machine. What the heck? The coffee machine is gone. Joe, where'd the coffee machine go? I'm telling you, it was literally right here, bro. What happened? Show me your coffee machine. Bro, it was right here. I'm telling you. Where is it now? Go back to the room. I swear to God, it was right here. What did you do? They did something to the coffee machine. I said go back. Now. How did I end up in this situation? There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Is he telling me I'm off my meds? That's my quote. Check the table by the TV. I must be dumb because if I'm going to take those meds, I'm a grade A idiot. How am I going to trust the people that had a magic coffee machine that disappears? Now I'm going to listen to them and take some meds that are in a random motel room. I guess I don't have anything better to do. Oh, requires water. It's so dark in here, though. Okay, I'm taking some meds. I guess it's going to be a party tonight, eh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I just took the meds. Why is it so dark? Can I not turn on a light? There's a light switch right here. That doesn't work. So I guess I'm going to go back to bed. That's how this works. It's 3 a.m. All I got to do is go to sleep for like three more hours and I'll be good. I'll be safe. I don't appear to actually be falling asleep. Is there something I'm supposed to do? Okay, I guess I'm getting up. There's got to be something else I can do. I can watch TV. Nope. Co still copyright. Good. The heck? Who's whispering outside? <gasps> Is that a guest? What? Why is he knocking on my door? That ain't Joe. That ain't Joe, y'all. This is somebody else. Bro, bro, those meds, I should not have taken them. I think they just kicked in. What does his voice sound so crisp? Nobody's home. I'm not here. Is he going to stay there? Hello? Bro, he's not leaving. Who is it? Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help, please. Please open the door. I don't think I will. I know you're in there. Bro, why is the phone broken? I can't even call for help. Okay, this guy literally won't leave. Unless I open the door. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. I'd be happy if you were a cop. Please go away or I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lady. What the heck? No, we hiding. We hiding. Close that. They can hear my mic. What just happened? To this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get police involved as it would have affected the motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like years. I never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. 
So the motel owners were actually not suspicious. As a matter of fact, they saved me from some creep. But there's still so many questions. What was up with the coffee machine? And what would have happened if we opened the door for that creep?